Hey everybody, Eric here, and I am the Blue Collar Pipe Smoker. Thanks for stopping by. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 51 degree day. I'm in heaven. I am in heaven, guys. Right now I'm enjoying a blend that's called... Barking Dog. Now, some of you old codgers out there might know what that is. Barking Dog's an old blend. Old codger blend. But there's a match made by Sutliff called Barking Dog. And, uh, boy, the best way I can explain this, imagine an old blend like Mixture 79, or maybe even um, Field and Stream, or just a classic, classic Burley blend with some Virginias and some little bit of Cavendish and stuff like that thrown in. But a, this one has a generous helping of Latakia thrown in. So you're getting that classic codger taste but with a generous helping of smoky Latakia. When you smell it <clears throat> and you taste it, it has the same smokiness and smoky flavor that like Boswell's Northwoods has. Boy, this is just really good. And the Latakia really cools down the blend. Nice and cool. Really good. It's got that earthy, <clears throat> very earthy because of the burly. When you look at the blend, it really resembles 79 and Field and Stream because it has those big chunks in it, you know. You try and rub those out before you put it in, it'll smoke cooler. But, and I'm smoking it in this vintage Long Champ. Uh, it's a leather covered briar pipe. <clears throat> This one, uh, Long Champs, were made in France. This pipe is very well broken in. So you're guaranteed to get an awesome smoke out of a well broken in pipe. Awesome blend, man. Ho oh, ho. And I have to thank Ben the Artful Codger for turning me on to the old ones. <clears throat> I sent him a text message, I think back in November, early December. And I said, <clears throat> if I like Mixture 79, what are some Sutliff bulks you could recommend? So he recommended Barking Dog, Country Doctor, Revelation, which is smoked by Albert Einstein, Field and Stream, uh, Holiday Mixture, and Walnut. There they are. So far, I've had all of them except Revelation. Holiday Mixture was, was decent. Field and Stream, outstanding. This, even better. I love Latakia. So to find a, a Kodra blend that has this amount of Latakia in it is really surprising and very welcoming. It's um, real smoky. I love it. This is my first video of the new year. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. <clears throat> well, I guess it's a good thing to kick it off New Year sharing a pipe with you guys. I uh, I was kind of dismayed that, you know, you hear that great companies like McClellan and Dunhill have gone by the wayside and that their, their tobaccos are gone. But I really have to be grateful and thankful to Sutliff for 
um, having the varieties of tobaccos that they have. But I have to be grateful that they took the time and the energy and the sweat to recreate these old blends and to offer them still to this day. And you're talking about we, we, we take part in a lifestyle that's dying. Um, you've got everybody and their uncle trying to ban smoking here and there and tax the heck out of it, make it cost prohibitive for the manufacturers to make the stuff. And, you know, the, the FDA and these regulations and this and that. So, you know, there's very few of us out there in the grand scheme of things. And this little community we've built on here, we, we stick together. And um, they're looking for me. But we... Um, you know, we try and share good stuff with each other, blends and all that stuff. And we're keeping the pipe businesses going, you know. We're keeping the, the brick and mortars going and keeping the online retailers going. But I have to say a hearty thank you to the uh, to Sutliff for keeping these blends available and and cheap. So cheap. I have been a big believer now in the Sutliff Bulks. These great codger blends, you could buy them for $1.87, $1.89, $1.93, whatever it is. You know, if you buy like four, six, eight ounces of it. It's around $2 an ounce if you just order it by one or two ounces. So, getting to the bottom here. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, man. You know, Frogmort and all that stuff, that was great stuff. All the Dunhill ones were good, but I, uh, I've been enjoying these bulk blends, these old codger blends. And uh, they're treating me right, man, they really are. Simple, flavorful, and uh, simpler blends from simpler times, that's for sure. So, I buffed up two pipes for my dad. Can't wait to give those to him. I think he's really going to like those. <clears throat> There's my dog. And she's being naughty right now. Stop that. Come on, stop, stop, stop. She's naughty. So when I see him next, I'll give him those. <clears throat> one of them is Savinelli. And then the other one I found out is a... It was a 1988 Christmas pipe sold by the Tinderbox. And I, I found out from Joe Greenfield that those were made by Joby slash Wally Frank, I think he said. And then um, they were made for the retailers, uh, the, the, the brick and mortars to... Sellers, no name type pipes. You could check out those photos on Instagram. I put the pictures of those pipes up there. So, anyways, all right, guys, that's about it. Just wanted to share a little bit of a smoke with you. Um, so happy that I kind of <laughs> finally got a day to do this. So, happy new year. And until next time, you two pipe smokers, I will talk to you soon.